Okay, so we have these uh, 10 millimeter um, bolts that we're gonna put um, one right here, here, and and down there. And that's gonna be a 10 millimeter. So now we're in this part of the video and these two um, parts right here. So those are the ones that are gonna be receiving um, these two longer bolts and the rest of them, they're all gonna be, all um, five of them are gonna be uh, the same size. So once you're, when you're installing it into the transmission, this is smaller or short, long, long, short, short, sh uh, short and short. This one already has a gasket on there that I put on. There it goes. That is just So like I said, this one gonna have the longer screw and this one as well. And the rest of them are just gonna have the shorter ones. be a size uh, T30. Okay, so now we're gonna put this gear and when we put it in there, we're not gonna put it um, like this we're going to put it facing this way with this groove right here facing outward so now you have to find where the little um is that you see it's right here <clears throat> and that's where you're going to line this right here and there we go so you see you have this little lip right here and that's where um, this ring will go. And then you spread it out. Like so. And there we go. So now we have the part, the part that I've been waiting so long to put on to the transmission with the hub assembly, clutch assembly, whatever you want to call it. So now we're going to uh, put that in there. There we go. So you see the gear in the in the way back there. Now it's moving. So everything looks good. Everything fits perfectly. Let's prevent this from coming out. We have this other piece that we're gonna put on there. Now we'll need like a special key to 
block this and I'm gonna try to see if I can fabricate something. If not, I'm probably just gonna do a, a flat head and then hammer it in on the side, just to tighten it. Okay, so now we could put this cover on there. So I got that cover on there and now I'm gonna put this other one. So I have to just like rotate it in there. That's it. So it's this flush on here. And this is where your torque dampener is gonna sit on. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut all these welds around this dampener with a Dremel. It's probably not a professional tool, but see these? Welds are mostly a robot weld. We're gonna try our best to get it as close as we can and so we could open the, this thing up. Try to dremel this out. Oh, it's like that little bit on there. So we're gonna try to do a little bit more. So you can see the cracks now on here. So on here there's some cracks. It's ready to come out now. Okay, so we grinded this thing off. Now the tricky part about getting this off is when you're cutting it around here. So once you're lifting it up, you have to cut it uh, just enough so it comes out of this part, this part here, and also here and here. Okay. So you can forget about all these little um, metal particles. That's all from the grinder and the Dremel. But here are the springs and the retainers from the DCT470. Um, transmission you can see here there are some broken springs like on this area and then you have that plastic clip right there so that's where let's see if I can rattle this well I can't do it right here but but um, you get the idea that's probably also the why I was rattling so this one's really loose so we're gonna try to we're gonna disassemble this and put it back together with new um, springs So here are all the retainers and the springs removed. Um, so on these has, uh, I'm not sure what the part number are for these uh, retainers. Uh, I've been trying to find them online just to replace them all, but it's uh, really difficult to find, especially who the um, who makes these parts. Um, I know 
um, Cobra transmissions um, make some for a Ford for a DCT 450 and they say it's not doesn't fit for a 470 so I'm gonna see um, look at some pictures and possibly uh, buy the 450 just to take measurements off them and replace them if it's a exact fit um, but yeah this side the one with the broken spring which is this one right right here um, so on this whole side most of these plastics uh, like this one's okay but then there's like this one right here looks like it's, it's like melted you can see right there and I have other ones too this one is pretty bad It's like warped and then you have this part too and this one's okay right here and this one's good too these two are good so it's one two three and this um, those three are bad and this one's good and you also have this one here this one for sure it's a uh, warped see that and I can't even get it off. I mean, I'm gonna try to get it out. Um, but yeah, but you can see on here, there's like a plastic piece of, yeah. So I'm gonna clean this out. I'm gonna buy new springs from SSP Performance. And for the plastic parts, on these I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep um, the same. These I'm gonna have to change. But if somehow I, um, the DCT 450, from the Ford version fits on these, then I'm just gonna replace them all with that one. So here are all the springs and retainers all cleaned up. And these, the set right here, those are the ones that are a bit melted. And you can see right there. Especially these right here, those are all warped. And I finally got the spring out. So this, is part of this and then plus the I don't know if you saw the video with the magnet that that one also had pieces of this spring on there and here's uh, this retainer right here and you can already see is this thing's all warped so this will be new and the good thing that I, I believe that in the DCT 450 which is for the Ford um, in the Cobra transmission website they do sell these uh, they sell this all in a set and it comes in with these uh, these uh, retainers right here So that's probably what I'm gonna have to do. I'm just gonna purchase uh, that one So I thought I was finished with this uh, transmission build but I have a problem right here so you see this uh, ring right here, this seal? So I need to buy a new one. Uh, so I coiled or threaded, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, ring is not supposed to be sticking out. So I had to buy one, I think it's like $24 from the uh, SP Performance. And that's what I had to do. Um, take all the components apart again, uh, open it up. And um, so I had to make a video on that only because I know there are people who are confused on how to align all the shift forks because it won't close perfectly on them. They'll have like a, a gap here. So I will sh make a video on, on that, a uh, detailed video on how to like actually get this to close. Um, it won't be like flush, it'll be slightly, but you'll have like small, small gap. And then that's when you, once you're threading these there, it'll be okay. And also in that other video, I'm also gonna make this one, which I have it opened up, um, but I don't have the springs yet. I ordered the the plastic retainers, and that's gonna be on the next video. So I'm probably gonna have to make two videos, um, but this one and this one's gonna be in one whole video on the next one.